Hello my friends, in today's video we're gonna be checking out a new drum BSD plugin. It's called Monster Drums from the company Monster DAW and independent developer Agus Hardiman. It's a multi-genre, multi-kit software. I have been receiving messages from you guys that are having issues to install this plugin. So in this video I want to show you how to install it on a Windows computer. Also, I wanna show you some of the features. I wanna go over some of the controls and finally show you how it sounds in a full mix with bass and guitars. All of the applicable links related to this video are going to be down below in the description and first comment. And don't forget to check out the timestamps as well for you to move around between the mini chapters of this video. My name is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com, the place where you can get tons of free resources, content and tools for music production. Thank you very much for being here and welcome. Before we go dive into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, AmnerHunter.com. I have some free stuff here that I want you to have. I have some PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some tools such as presets of some plugins, a super package of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template and workflow, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free resources and content. So without further ado, let's get to the video. I'm here in the main website of Monster DAW where they have the Monster Drum plugin. They claim to be the best free drum BST plugin with multi-key genre. So let's prove this. This is the plugin itself. This is how it looks. Cool thing about this is that you have different genres, different kits and expansions, as I like to call it. So no matter the genre that you are working, this plugin, I think it will work for you. For this video, I'm gonna download the expansions for rock and metal. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right away. First, we need to download the main installer for the plugin. It's available for Windows and Mac in 32 and 64 bit. I'm just going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version for Windows. It will take you to this media fire page. So let's go ahead and download it very quickly. Another thing that we need to download are the kits, the expansions. This is the one that it's included. It's called Acoustica Hits, Genre Pop and Rock. This one's included in the plugin. And you have several others that you can add to this collection. For instance, you have here the Coca-Cola kit for hip hop, R&B, rap, etc. I'm gonna download also this hardcore metal drum kit. Just clicking the button. It's also a media fire. It will start downloading these files. You can see the other kits here on this website. I'm gonna also download the Thrash, Metal and Gent. These are the metal drum kits that you can download. You have from other genres as well. You have here a punk kit. So let's check it out also. I wanna test these different kits on a full mix at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around for that. Now that we have all the files, let's install them. I'm gonna show you that step by step really quickly here. I put all of these downloads on a folder. So I'm gonna extract the files for the monster drum. In this folder, you're going to get the file, which is the monster drum plugin itself right? It's a point .dll file. Also, you're going to get this folder where you have the Acoustica Hits expansion. As you see here, these files .mse are the expansions. So you have the Metal expansion, the Coco Call, and the Punkadelic. First, we need to drag and drop this point .dll file to our BSD plugin folder. This is the main file that will be hosting these other expansions. I'm gonna also be copying this monster drum folder with the expansion, right? The one that comes by default. Just gonna go to my hard disk. I'm gonna choose the BSD plugin folder under program files. Also, I'm gonna be copying and pasting these three drum kits or expansions to the same folder, right? So I go to program files, just looking for the BSD plugin folder here on the monster drums folder. I'm going to paste it. I have now all of these expansions. This should work on our DAW. Now that I have everything in place, all of the files here, let's go to my DAW. I built this MIDI file with another drum program. So here is the drum mapping. Right now I don't have a drum kit. I'm gonna just load the Monster Drums BST plugin. You can go here to Studio BST Instruments, pressing F11, or you can just 
load your BSD instruments here. Or you can add also an instrument track like this. I'm just gonna go here, add instrument. I selected monster drums, add track, and here it is. So I'm gonna drag this MIDI file to the track where the monster drum plugin is. Gonna color code it blue. This is how it sounds by default. This is the Acoustica hits. Here you can select the other drum kits or expansions that you downloaded. In this case I have three additional expansions. You have here a master reverb to apply to the whole drum kit, a master filter. This is a low pass filter or high cut filter. You have the master volume for all the drum kit. Right here at the right, you can select each part of the drum kit, the kick, the snare, closed hi-hats, open hi-hats, etc. And you have individual controls for each part of the drum kit. You have the volume, the pan pot. You can choose to pan each instrument to the left, to the right, or in the center. You have two compressor controls, the attack and release. All the way to the left is a slow attack and all the way to the right is a fast attack. I suggest you to use it by default all the way to the left. You have here the option to choose several outputs from 1 to 16 outputs. You can route each of these individual parts of the drum kit to individual parts on your mixer, on your DAW, if you want to treat them differently. Because right here on the instrument, you don't have a mixer. You only have this controls this in case that you would want to process things differently i'm gonna press play to this midi file that i have here and let's check it out Open up the other kit. This is the metal drum kit. Awesome. This one sounds more compressed, more metal style. Sounds great. Has a cool kick drum, snare, and toms and all that. Let's check out the other drum kit. Coco Cal Cal Tremor. Let's check out the last kit that I downloaded, the Punkadelic. Let's go back to the metal drum kit. What I like to do here is I like to mix a little bit the drum kit with volume and panning. The kick drum, the snare in the center, the pan position right in the center. Check out the snare also in the center. The closed hi-hat is a little bit to the left. In this case, I'm gonna pan the tom one. Right to the left. Tom two, I'm gonna leave it in the center. The floor tom. Yeah, I'm gonna put it all the way to the right, like that. Let's check it out how it sounds. Very cool to have the toms panned. As far as mixing goes in my DAW, I'm not using any post-processing on drums, audio inserts. I'm not using 
any equalization, any compression or anything. All I'm going to be using is mixing with the volume of each part of the drum kit for the final demo. Now let's check them out how they sound in this metal track. Let me know what do you think about this drum plugin my friends do you think it's the best free drum plugin there is in the market right now what do you think about these drum kits these expansions if you have any questions any additional thoughts or comments i'm gonna be happy to read them before we go my friends i would like to invite you to my website amnerhunter.com i have some free stuff here that i want you to have i have some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers also for guitar players i have some tools such as presets of some plugins, a super package of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template and workflow, among other utilities. Finally, don't forget to check out my blog, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free resources and content. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Alright, take care.